Hi again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Charger 360, telling the stories of the University of New Haven. I'm J.W. Stewart, joined as always by Bruce Barber, and our guest today is John Mays, who's the athletic director here at the University of New Haven. John, it's great to see you. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Glad to be here, and thanks for having me. So if you remember the old Dr. Z and J-Dub podcast, which was the precursor to this show, John was the executive producer of that program. John, look at this monster you've created. <laughs> know, we've, we've really come a long way. Long I, I take that personally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean the whole show? Well, not, oh, yeah, not you. <laughs> oh, okay. Although we're glad, you know, we're, we're appreciative of you giving us the, uh, the radio house there for, for a season That's before we moved into the TV studio. That's right. You used to uh, record at uh, WNHU. Or I was live, correct? Or it was, was live it in... uh, for a handful of episodes. Okay. We did some live episodes. We did some pre-recorded ones. And, and you were a great host, by the way. Well, so, I get no lonely, offense. and it was very nice <laughs> to have uh, all of you come over. Of course, of course. <laughs> well, again, John, it's great to have you in front of the camera after all the years on the show behind the scenes. Uh, tell us about your journey here to the University of New Haven. Where are you from, and, and how'd you get here? Yeah, yeah, great question. So I, uh, I grew up in the Midwest. I've been, you know, hopping around the Midwest my whole life uh, until coming out of here. So. You know, grew up in Minnesota, um, you know, played, played college uh, basketball and golf in Wisconsin, uh, and then uh, made my way a little bit further south down to Kansas, spent six years at the University of Kansas, uh, both, you know, furthering my education and uh, getting my start, so to speak, in college athletics, mm -hmm. uh, and then made my way up to, up to Illinois, uh, was a, a basketball coach there um, at Illinois Wesleyan for a little while. Uh, as well as a fundraiser for the Special Olympics Illinois, which was a great experience, obviously a worthwhile cause. And then this guy by the name of uh, Shane Zanger <laughs> called me up and said, hey, I'm, we're gonna uh, bring you out to Connecticut, University of New Haven. And I said, all right, sounds good. Uh, <laughs> where exactly is that? Man. And, and <laughs> when do go. I start? <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. And um, so we're so lucky to have both of you. And, um, but it's, it's, different circumstances, so, but I find doing media here at the University of New Haven, you really get a chance to, the university is very supportive, right, of what all of us do, so how is it that you're crafting, you know, with obviously a lot of partners, the athletic program, the overall program here at the University of New Haven? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I really think that, that you hit the nail on the head. We, we collaborate so well and so much with our cross-campus partners. Um, I think that's, that's part of what makes uh, Charger Athletics really unique in this university um, really strong, right? So we have, you know, whether it's our advancement office helping us with fundraising initiatives, uh, you know, marketing and communication helping us with the branding and, and kind of our overall communication strategy academics, obviously, um, you know, partnering with the provost's office and our deans and, and academic support systems to make sure our student athletes can, can thrive. I think that, um, you know, across the board, we, we do a really good job, um, you know, of, of spreading that out and making sure that we're tapping into all the resources uh, that are available to us. And, and that's what's gonna, you know, hopefully make us continue to grow and, and uh, you know, be able to get to reaching our goals and, and doing everything that we wanna do. Seems we say this with all of our guests that this is the perfect time to be here at the University of New Haven because this is a university that is on the rise, that is growing. And certainly we've seen that in athletics and the big news around campus these days, over on North Campus, is the opening of the Peterson Performance Center. John, tell us the story of how this Performance Center came to be, especially Dave Peterson and, and everything that he's done to be able to uh, break ground on this, you know, a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. So, it, you know, the, the Peterson Performance Center really was a bit of a, um, you know, vision that, that started not too long after, uh, after Shan and I got here. And ultimately, we realized that the, the weight room that we were currently working out of was, you know, just subpar, right. um, to put it, put it pretty, pretty bluntly. Um, and in order to benefit all 500 plus of our student athletes, that was gonna be the quickest way to impact them all, right? We could have looked at renovating the gym, renovating a field or a stadium or whatever it might be, but that only impacts one or, or a couple of sports. The weight room, every one of our student athletes touches, you know, almost every day. Um, so this is gonna be really one of the most populated and most heavily used facilities across the entire campus. So the, the story behind the building really is that we thought, you know, if we're just gonna 
let's fill the weight room and let's, let's do that and kind of get that out of the way so that we can move on to the next project. And this weight room started as just this concept of, all right, let's just put up a garage and put some weights in it, like an old school weight room. <laughs> and you know, we started there and we said, all right, we can probably do this for you know, whatever the amount was. And every time that, that Shan or myself would talk to Dave, then it became, well, if we're gonna do that, we might as well put something else in there, right? It started as, let's put the locker room in there, or let's put, you know, if we're gonna put sports performance, let's put sports medicine, the two are so um, closely intertwined, let's do them both. Um, you know, and then, well, if we're gonna go that far, then we should add some meeting rooms and some coaches' offices, and next <laughs> thing you know, we have a 35,000 square foot building that, you know, really has become, um, you know, the heart of North Campus, um, even, even prior to its opening. Um, there's so much excitement around it. There's so much momentum that, it, that it's created. Um, you know, and, and we like to, to say that it's truly become, you know, just a, um, you know, kind of the vision for what the future could be for, for North Campus and for Charger Athletics. And you obviously are in a position where you're constantly thinking of, well, what do I tell prospective student athletes <laughs> that are considering coming here to the University of New Haven? So, what do you tell those students? Yeah, well, it's become a lot easier now that we can tour them through the facility. <laughs> we don't really even have to tell them much. We just walk them in there and, and show them, you know, this state-of-the-art place. And, we do and the same thing soul. with our communication <laughs> students. Yeah. We bring them right here yeah. and wow them. Yeah, so. exactly. So, um, you know, a lot of times uh, what we sell is the people here. Um, and although this, this new facility is incredibly impressive and definitely going to be a selling point, it still doesn't happen without you know, a group of really phenomenal people behind the scenes um, that you know, either helped funding um, or helped the design of it, obviously the building of it, and you know, ultimately um, what we're gonna do once it's open. And we have a, an unbelievable team of sports uh, performance coaches unbelievable team of, of sports medicine, our athletic trainers, mm -hmm. um, all the people that are actually gonna make this facility work, right? It's great to have all the equipment, it's great to have all of this stuff in there, okay. um, but if you don't have the right people who are actually gonna put the equipment to use and make sure that it's uh, operating at, at peak performance, then you know it's, it's really a moot point. So we have great people who are gonna step in here and, and put all of that uh, heavy equipment to use. Uh, to, to do they have pickleball? <laughs> pickleball? I'm not no seeing pickleball. It. No pickleball. Uh, you didn't get in the design process early okay, enough to request that. Disc golf. Only heavy weights allowed over oh, okay. here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, you can see Dave Peter. You can see Dave Peterson's influence in the pre previous pictures. Dave was the the guy with the the huge arms, right? He clearly <laughs> hits the weights, you know. And, and Dave is the the primary benefactor here, and the and the reason behind the the Peterson performance that are getting built. And you mentioned John, the the ideas it just kind of built from there. And we saw the drone video and, and the inside, from from concept to what it is now. You know, now that you look at it, is it is it what you guys expected, or has it been even even exceeded your expectations? It was it's significantly better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we when we had designed it, um, it's really a, a relatively simple design. Um, you know, it's it's a rectangle weight room. It's it, you know the locker room. Um, in terms of the actual design of it, there's not much uh, creativity to it, so to speak. But the the equipment and you know just the simplicity of it and the beauty of all the glass windows and the steel and you know it just it it works um, and. Really, the, the biggest thing that I think um, we took away once we were actually to, able to go into the facility is just how big it is. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that is really something that um, you know, is, is attractive to, obviously, us as we're able to, to do so much more in there. Um, you know, if you compare it to our old weight room, you could probably fit about <laughs> eight, eight or ten of our old weight rooms into, just into this weight room. So, um, you know, it's a game changer in a lot of ways. Yeah, and talk a little about uh, Charger Sports and some of the success stories this year. Yeah, even even before opening this building, you know, it, hopefully that's a sign of things to come. We've you know we've had great seasons across the board, right? Starting in the fall with, um, you know, you look at our field hockey program and they had a great season. Um, they've only been been you know a program here, a varsity program for six years now, and um, you know they were able to go on a great run and, and make the um, conference tournament for the second year in a row. Had the first time that we've had All-Americans in that program this year. Um, and then, you know, our football program, back-to-back -back NCAA playoff appearances. 
uh, obviously our basketball program, I know that Coach O'Talling was, was on yep. the program here. Um, you know, an elite, elite eight run, first time ever in program history. And then we get into our spring sports. Um, you know, our, our track and field program is, is really doing a great job right now. Uh, the men's team has a chance to compete, um, you know, for, for conference awards across the board. Um, you know, and then our, our baseball team's having a great year, and women's lacrosse is, is ranked nationally and, and has a chance to, uh, you know, add another postseason appearance to our, to our record. How does the Peterson Performance Center help with recruiting? And we're not just talking recruiting for football or men's basketball. It helps with recruiting of all sports across the board. How, how does this change the game for all sports here at the University of New Haven? Yeah, you know, as I referenced earlier, um, all 500 plus of our student athletes are gonna use this facility anywhere from four to six, sometimes seven days a week, right? And that's not just lifting weights. Um, we're hoping that they're in there, you know, at least four or five times a week lifting weights. Um, but, you know, the, the sports medicine area is in there as well. So, um, you know, we're pushing to become the premier uh, school in the, in, the, in the region for recovery and performance. Um, and that's our selling point to recruits is that we care about the, you know, the well-being of our student athlete physically, mentally. And this is the place that's going to be dedicated to that, right? So, um, you know, this facility has some technology and, and equipment that is really second to none. Um, you know, all in all, the facility is better than, than any in the Northeast, um, and I'd put it up against any Division II facility in the country. So, we, ma we make sure to mention that to our, to our recruits that come to campus, and, and um, you know, it's been a selling point not just for recruits but we've we've hired a handful of coaches over the last um you know throughout this year uh new new soccer coach uh new new field hockey coach new volleyball coach coming in soon and uh that's been a selling point for them too we've had really strong candidate pools and and i can't help but think that the facility has has been a part of that and where do you see you know so just putting it very simply what is the role do you think in general of college yeah. athletics not just here, but throughout universities across the country? Yeah, great question. I think uh, college athletics really should support the mission of the university, right? So um, when you look at, at what a university does or what they stand for, our student athletes should represent that. Um, the brand or the, the information that we put out from an athletics perspective should represent that. And you know, I think that we are truly, you, know, you hear the, the phrase, we're the front porch of the university. So often, um, just the way that, that American society is, you, you think about um, you know, a certain athletic program or a certain university, and the first thing that comes to mind is the athletic logo, right? the charger head. Um, you think about, oh, that team went to the Elite Eight this past year, or that team had a, an appearance in the football playoffs, whatever it might be. Um, that's just kind of the nature of college athletics, and, and it benefits us, obviously, but as long as we are doing our part, um, I think that that should benefit the university as well. And ultimately, that comes down to our student athletes and our coaches representing um, our brand and our university in the right way. The next step, of course, and this has been on the table since Dr. Z was hired by President Kaplan, is the move to Division I. For all of our alums and fans and you know, people who, who care about University of New Haven athletics, what's the update on where that stands? What can you tell us? Yeah, so you know, Division I is, is obviously something that's still uh, being discussed and, and strategized about, uh, so to speak. And, and what I tell people when I get asked about it, which is a lot, by the way, uh, <laughs> is, is that- Thanks, uh, <laughs> J-Dub. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask the question. Of course, the hard-hitting <laughs> questions. Uh, our goal really is to, um, to get to a point where we are so good at the Division II level that they kick us out, right? So, so there's a school back where I'm from in Minnesota uh, that you know, was so good at the Division III level that they got kicked out of their conference and they actually jumped all the way from Division III to Division I, St. Thomas University in, in, uh, in Minnesota. And you know, I think that uh, ultimately our goal is to build up our programs, build facilities, uh, fund our programs at a level that allows us to compete regionally and nationally, and then, you know, at that point, we'll be ready for Division I. And, you know, I think that this university, um, you know, I've been here for, for about four years now. Uh, in those four years, we've advanced a long way, but really, if you look back in the last 10, 15 years, this university has come so far. And we are, in a lot of ways, um, you know, in most ways, we are a Division I institution as a whole. 
And I think the athletic programs have gotten to a point where we are, you know, competitively, we are competitive at, at a Division One level. Um, and it's just a matter of us making making sure that we are smart about this process of moving up to Division One and thinking about it, uh, you know, from every angle, so that it's the right fit first and foremost. Um, you know, it has to make sense not just athletically; it has to make sense across the board for the institution to go into a conference that. Um, you know, is a good institutional fit for us. A lot of great things happening at North Campus, and we can't thank John Mays, our athletic director, for joining us here on Charger 360 to talk all about it. John, uh, congratulations on all you've accomplished, and uh, again, thanks for your leadership uh, with our athletic uh, program. Of course. Thanks, guys, for having me on. Great seeing you. Yeah. And that'll wrap up another edition of Charger 360, telling the stories of the University of New Haven. For John Mays and for Bruce Barber, I'm J.W. Stewart. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.